Minus Heaven. I guess it's another tool introduction. Because what else would it be? Now, the thing about the minor tool, unlike Lemmings, which is basically kind of like a 3 to 1 ratio, you dig a 45 degree angle, which is directly diagonal, kind of like your right angled triangle. It's kind of interesting, but it does throw me a little <laughs> that the angling is slightly off. It's probably just me though. Also, it's... yeah, it's around the Christmas season, so why not have a couple of Christmas trees? I don't know their form or name, but then again, it's not like we grow many of those here. That guy just likes to loop. And we saved everyone! Sacrifice a few and save the rest. And thus we have the bomber tool. And they simply explode like that. They don't really do much ground damage, so it's not really effective for building like traps or anything to stop your pingus from falling through the ground. That height should be doable. They kind of explode in a fully circular area instead of how lemmings usually have it in a, like a tight o oval eclipse kind of shape. So I think s there has to be like, there's probably some level of compensation for how the levels work as a result. Only five died to make it work, and I believe that's the minimum unless there's some other method. Use blockers or something. I suppose there would be a lot more deal of trying to work things out if you had the timer. For one you can just blow up instantly, like that. So it's kind of more closer to how I I believe the arcade version of Lemmings worked, where bombers would instantly explode on touch, uh -huh. rather than having a 5 second countdown which you had to account for. It reduces some of the frustration, but at the same time you lose the kind of sensitivity you have to knowing how long it is before your lemming, or well, in this case your pingo, explodes. I'm not sure if that's a droppable height, but I think it is. Yep. And like that, we just carry the rest of the pingus to victory. Or at least they'll survive. Why they explode, we'll never know. But it's just something we can do. Seven died that time. Solid ground can block the path. And it's always it's one of these kinds of levels. You block right away, otherwise they just gonna walk straight off the edge. And that's about it really. Kind of have to be careful since, as I've mentioned before, the quirk with being able to dig. As you can see, you want to catch them on the left side, and it's going to get more complicated the more you wait. As you can see. One step at a time. You just use a block to keep everyone trapped inside, that way I can manage the rest of this without going through too much trouble. But as you can see, steel is impenetrable, as was demonstrated. The bash could only go so far, even though it ended up digging left. Just get rid of this one up here. That way you don't have to deal with it anymore. 
prepare our digger so we can go down. And we should have the rest of them on the way to victory here on out. There we go. And so we eliminate the other one. And just speed it all up. 17 out of 10. Only three had to die for that. I reckon I could have saved a bit on the kills, that's for sure. Now we have the bridge tool, which is nice, I suppose. Just gonna keep them blocked in. The release rate right, seems lower. At least for this level, anyway. 15 steps. As you can see, you can see the incline of the th steps being built are the same as in Lemmings. And you can actually see the counter art as they pick up builders. And as you can see, I think the whole issue with the miner having a different angle to the builder. Like, I could see puzzles using that in Lemmings, but here, probably wouldn't go. Normally I'd have a lot killed at this point, I think. In any case, it's just the work of this one lone Pingu. I'd use a blocker or bomber combination here just to turn them around, but we don't have that. That luxury. Not this time around, anyway. So we have to build out that end, and then build back to the other end. And make sure we don't fall off. Build an extra one, just in case. I don't have any tools to stop this Pingu, so I'm gonna have to turn them around. And go back the other way, and do it twice. That's how much? About from there, I think. It better be from back here. Bear more than less, in any case. We have plenty of builders. I like how during the idle moment it is just a waiter. At least this bingo will be, anyway. Yep, just a bit short, but we have way more builders than we'll ever need in this case. This reminds me of Oh No More Lemmings, really, in the, at least in the impressions department. The idea is that you have all these tutorial levels, and then immediately the rest of the level packs are insanely difficult to complete. And that is all you need to have a bunch of fun. Back before, you know, downloadable games became mainstream and there was so many of them all over the place. I do like the clouds looping back on themselves. I really do. But maybe someday some artist will take up the task of building new backgrounds. I think it's safe to get rid of our bomber, so let's do that. Everyone is out, yes, so we can blow up the other one so we don't have to waste any more time. And so the rest of them will go. I haven't seen any instances of traps which will kill Pingus, but who knows, that might be a thing. Now, can I... Okay, I turned one of them around. That's an interesting thing to note. I... That could come in handy, I guess, if I need to build somewhere. But all our Pingus are safe. For the most part. Only two died. <laughs> 